Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wrecking Ball, Sunday. I've read that in ancient times they used to bury kings and pharaohs with all their possessions. Back then, I guess they thought you could take your things with you to the afterlife. Well, if I get buried with all my junk, I might really regret it later on. Mum's having me do some spring cleaning to get rid of the things I don't need. Well, that seemed like a good idea until I realised just how much stuff I've actually got. I spent the whole morning going through my closet and it's crazy how much stuff was packed in there. And it's not like it was organised or anything. I've basically been throwing things in my closet since we first moved in. Chuck. Digging through my closet was like going back through my childhood. And the further back I went, the further back in time it took me. The stuff in the front of the closet was all this junk I'd tossed in there over the past year, like homework assignments and comic books. But after I got all those things out of the way, I started finding stuff I actually forgot about. I found a model rocket I got for my 10th birthday, and a costume I wore for Halloween a few years ago. And there was a bunch of other stuff I didn't even know I still had. When I dug a little deeper, I found something I thought I'd lost years ago. It was a binder full of stickers I collected in the third grade. Stickers! Brrr. I used to be obsessed with stickers, especially the, sn the scratch and sniff kind. I collected all the good smells like bubblegum, cotton candy and that sort of thing, but I had the really gross ones too. So when a kid on my street wanted to know what giraffe poop or rotten meatloaf smelt like, they'd come to me. One of these days I'm going to write an autobiography and it's going to include oh, scratch and sniff stickers to mark all the different moments in my life. And that's when I realised I'd stepped in dog poop. Scratch here. I kept digging through my closet and found stuff from kindergarten, like a fish I made by tracing my hand on a piece of construction paper. I used to love doing arts and crafts back then, and if anyone ever tried to bully me about it, they'd get a face full of glitter. Whoosh. <coughs> Another project I found in my closet was a gift I made for mum in preschool but never gave it to her. It was a paper flower with a picture of my face in the middle, glued to a paddle pop stick. When I made the thing, I put it in a little clay pot filled with dirt, but I tripped on the front step when I got home from school that day, and that's why I never gave it to her. Trip smash. I was glad when I reached the f end of the closet, but to be honest, I was a little disappointed too. When I was younger, I read this book about these kids who could visit a whole new world by going through their closet, and I always wondered if I might be able to do the same thing with mine. I thought that whoever lived on the other side might not be happy with me for tossing all my junk in there over the years. When I told mum I was done emptying my closet today, she said I needed to put everything into three piles, one to keep, one to donate, and one to throw away. But I figured if I was going to let go of any of my junk, I may as well make some money off it, so I decided to have a yard sale. <laughs>